Greetings internet, it's Katie, and today's video is yet another installment in my summer series here on Hello Katie, and as you guys could probably tell from the title, this is my swimsuit collection video, and I feel like this is one of those videos that has become increasingly popular among YouTubers, and I am just hopping on that train and filming this as well, because who doesn't love showing swimsuits to a camera, right? Here I come, where you at, the night is young I do have quite a lot of swimsuits. I put them all in this Victoria's Secret bag. Little disclaimer before I begin, I don't like to match my bathing suits. I always mismatch them just because I feel like that's more fun. I have a couple just black string bikini tops that I don't really feel like showing because they're very basic, but I typically will take one of those and match it with a crazy bottom or, you know, vice versa. I just mix and match my bathing suits as most people do, so I'm not really going to show you guys like a full set of bathing suits rather than just tops and bottoms that I put together. You feeling me? Alright, so let's begin with the tops. Target bathing suits give me life because they're so cheap, yet so cute. I don't know what's with Target the past couple years, but it's just been getting better and better and better. And so this is one that I've had for a year and a half now, and I actually have another one in black. It kind of resembles a bra, I will say that. It has like the underwire and all that stuff. I like the fact that this does have push-up padding in it. It's always nice to get a little bit of help, if you know what I'm saying. So this was like, I think under $20. You know, the tops at Target vary in price, but they're all pretty inexpensive. So next from Target is this string bikini top. And I got this one last year for camp. It's just a white string bikini, but it has all of these cute little embroidered flowers on it. And I believe this was also like under $15, which is nice. And it's padded and has like that pink interior. And I really love this. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say. It's just a bikini top, guys. Pretty basic. I also will be inserting a little clips of me trying these on, which I hope is helpful for you guys. Not trying to show off my anything, just simply showing you guys what they look like on me. So, carrying on with tops is another one that really resembles a bra now that I think about it. Honestly, when I'm buying these things, I don't really think about that, but then when I look at them later on, I'm like, shoot, this looks like a total bra. This is one of the most comfortable bathing suits I own because it keeps everything just in there, like a bra would, obviously. So that's why I tend to, to go for the more bra tops because the underwire and everything just keeps everything where it's supposed to be. You know, when I'm out jumping off of high dives and all that stuff, it's not gonna go anywhere, which would be terrifying. So um, this one's also from Target, and it's just this polka dotted sort of thing. That was also in the same sort of price range, and these are about a year and a half old. So another store that I really enjoy buying bathing suits from is Airy, and I bought this one, I believe, two years ago. Yeah, I honestly don't really invest that much money in bathing suits, as you guys can probably tell, because, I mean, why fix it if it's not broken, right? That's my motto for life. So anyway, this one was from Airy, and it's a very vintage looking style. It has, like, you know, the lines down the boob. I don't really know what that's called, but it's like a vintage looking sort of style, and it's just a gorgeous color, and you know, not very heavily padded. It's one of those that just kind of holds it in there and doesn't push it up or anything like that, which is always nice. Um, it did come with straps at one point in time, but I lost them, of course. And I believe this was about like 20 or $30. Aries bathing suits are a little bit more expensive. So I also have this one from Aries. It's kind of just one of those twisty band sort of deals. And it doesn't have any push-up, it just has the, you know, basic padding. And it also has this halter strap, which I do actually still have on it. I have a knack for just, you know, throwing those into unknown places in my room and losing them. But, um, yeah, obviously I'm struggling with this. I'm not sure why, but I don't really wear this one as much as I wear the other ones. But it's still in pretty nice condition, and the pattern is adorable. So next is a bathing suit from PacSun, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't a part of, like, the Kylie collection, Kylie Kendall collection with a K. I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just one of those that they carried for a while, and it's this black fringy top because black goes with everything so you might as well have a bunch of these in your collection. Like I said earlier I do have some other just random string bikini tops that are black that are just very basic but this one adds a nice little funky twist to your bathing suit ensemble so yeah and I believe this was about like $14 I remember it being pretty cheap because it literally has no padding in it so if it gets a little chilly Whoops! <laughs> I just actually bought this last week, so I haven't even taken the tags off. And it's from Victoria's Secret. I actually don't own any Victoria's Secret tops until this one right here because they're just so expensive. But I saw this one and I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous, so I had to, had to pick it up. Very pretty neon splatter floral ruffle sort of deal. The back's kind of cool. It has like these two strings and you tie them, something funky like that. I don't know. Victoria's Secret bathing suits are always pretty cool. And whenever I put them on, I think 
oh my god, that Candace chick who's like really, really attractive wore this and I don't look anything like her, so you know, it's just a lot of anxiety because I'm not a Victoria's Secret angel. But anyway, I believe this was about, oh I actually have the tag on it, look at that. It was $48.50, but they were having some sort of deal, so it wasn't actually this expensive. I just really don't remember how much I actually paid for it. But as I said, I don't really buy bathing suits very often, so when I do, I suppose I will chip in some money for them. So I like this one. It has very light padding. So moving on to the bottom. I found a pair of bottoms from Victoria's Secret that I've been buying summer after summer after summer that works for me, and it doesn't cause my butt to eat it if you know what I mean. But basically, it looks like this. It has like this roughly sort of thing going on, and the butt has the ruching in the middle, so it kind of gathers it all in. And honestly, guys, this sounds weird, but the less fabric you have on your butt, I mean, within reason, the smaller your butt actually appears. But I found if I have a pair of bottoms with a lot of fabric that kind of has like a more, you know, round sort of outer edge to it, it's a lot less flattering than something like this, which kind of cuts inward in like a triangle sort of shape. So I definitely recommend trying these on. This one's a multicolored kind of like little neon dots pattern. Then I also have another one from last summer, which is this red and white striped pattern, which I bought for 4th of July, which was just adorable to wear with like a blue bathing suit top. And I believe I have one more that I don't know where it is at the moment, but it's like pink flowers. You guys might have seen it in my last like bathing suit haul video last year. But anyway, when I went last week, I actually picked up two other pairs of them, but they're the modified versions like for this summer. So they have the cool like roughly ties on the sides as well because these ones don't have those but these do and I think the ties are a lot more flattering than the ones without just because it makes my thighs look smaller if that's even possible. I cannot tell whether this is black or blue. Basically it's a white and unidentified color stripe with the teal little ties on the side and again it has that you know butt ruching and the triangular shape which is very flattering. Next I picked up the same pair in a different pattern and this is a kind of pink and green and purple and yellow and orange, well, I just made that up, there's no yellow, and orange chevron pattern and it has these like little hints of gold in there too, it's really cute. Um, and again, the butt ruching and the triangular shape is very flattering. I honestly don't know what it is, but these bathing suit bottoms make me feel comfortable in a bathing suit, which is very unheard of for me because typically I'm just so uncomfortable. By the way, those were $22 a piece, which is a really great price for something that makes you feel good. Last but not least, I do have a pair of bottoms from Forever 21, which I really love because Forever 21 does have some decently good bathing suits. So I bought this pair last summer and it's kind of faded from the pool and the river and everything, but it looks like this and it has these little ruffles like on the butt and the trend it has that triangular shape. All right, so that's a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed my bathing suit collection video and this installment in my summer series. And I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye.